Did I forget? Uh, oh. Hey, I'm Lydic. Uh, <laughs> I'm also here. I don't have anything clever to say. Welcome to What Are We Reading? We are back at it again with a sexist teenage romance novel. And a really annoying protagonist. Well, yeah, it's a sexist teenage hand. romance novel. Yeah. It's just like how all those sexist isekai, uh, like, stories all have really obnoxious, boring protagonists. Let's not get back into manga and anime, because we went off because on a we triad there for give, a moment. We have to give the readers something to relate to, and as being as these are all marketed towards teenage boys who feel like women owe them something, they are all fucking annoying. Fuck, you just reminded me of something from high school. I gave some girl like $10, and she was supposed to give it back. That bitch. <laughs> God damn. Okay, now that is someone owing you something. At least it's not I gave her $10 and she never sucked my dick. No, no, no. We were at like an arcade place and she didn't have any funds to play more games. So she's like, can I have $10? I'll give it back to you like during the, you know, okay, graduation yeah. place. And then she just fucking dipped. She might have forgotten. Nah, yeah. <laughs> My parents are like, that was stupid of you to do. You're not getting that money back. And I'm like, I'll get it back. And I never did. Oh, God. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh. There's a really concerning there's a really concerning trend among isekai uh, pieces of fiction and main characters buying slaves. Like, that's a normal thing. I'm not going to get much more into it because someone's going to call me an SJW for not liking Rising of the Shield Hero. And I don't want to get into it because I've already heard you like getting into that and just woo. We went off for a while before this started about just oh yeah bullshit. yeah. Uh, I have been seeing so many fucking videos in my recommended of people bitching about people complaining about Rising of the Shield Hero, and it's like okay, one, it's a boring ass isekai thing, and this is coming from someone who's read the manga. Its only hook is the fact that the main character is motivated by spite, and other than that, it's not really worth anyone's time. Really? And if anyone decides to bring up how cute one of the girls is in it, who gives a shit? Every anime girl is cute. That's their only fucking character trait. That's why I have a bunch of pictures on my computer. <laughs> and I'm still not happy with animes I watch, because that's all they are. Fun to look at. Like, that's, that's it. There's nothing interesting. None of the characters I got so fucking far into that thing, and there was no character development. It's like, oh, everyone's still an asshole. Oh, this guy's still angry. Oh, she's still cute. I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> All right, then. In the meantime, let's do something that you're kind of forcing me to be interested in. Another chapter of this bullshit. At least we could analyze this. <laughs> We're on, uh, we are reading Midnight Sun. We are on. We're not going to analyze Chapter this. Chapter 3, make Phenomenon. Jokes. Hoot. <laughs> Hoot. Truly, See, I was not thirsty. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> God damn. You sound like a thirsty boy. <laughs> like uh, the majority of people who like Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, calm down. <laughs> <sighs> but I decided to hunt again that night. A small ounce of prevention, inadequate though I knew knew it would uh, knew it to be. Uh, Car Carlise came with me. Carlisle. Had, I don't care. Carlisle came with me. We didn't. We had been alone together since I returned from Denali. As we ran through the black forest, I heard him thinking about that hasty goodbye last week. No, Daddy's sad. Aww. <clears throat> Also, I think I, sh I feel like I should probably mention it, but for some reason, vampires prefer the taste of things higher up on the food chain. Which you think would really call into question the fact that they enjoy the taste of humans. Because... <laughs> I mean... Let's face it, you, ta you trap a human in a cage with a tiger, and I don't think the, ti I don't think the human's going to win. Um... <laughs> you have a fair point there. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't really... <laughs> Not even trying to be mean. Humans really aren't that, you know. <laughs> I, the humans, the humans' main adaptations are the fact that they're able to throw things really far and accurate due to the proportion of uh, arm length to leg length, 
as well as the fact that they have better stamina than most other animals due to the fact that they move on two legs and being as they don't have hair covering their body, they instead can sweat, which uh, uh, gets rid of the need to pant. Yeah. But other than that, like when it comes to fighting, those are the only two things. Oh, you can throw things and you have better stamina. <laughs> your better stamina is not going to help when that tiger's ripping out your throat. <laughs> But yeah, it's like mentioned that like ta- like they just go out and hunt stuff like mountain lions and bears because they taste better than deer. <laughs> well, they may taste. <laughs> God damn it! That's really dumb. It is. <laughs> oh, this is just that. Just like that's just human ego pumping. Basically. That's all that is. Which is really funny, because if you ask Stephanie Meyer, she said that she's not anti-women, she's (laughs) anti-human. Which, you know, is an argument that might might hold some water if it weren't for the fact that even the vampire characters are insufferable. (laughs) Douche! In his memory, I saw the way my features had been twisted in fierce despair. I felt his surprise and sudden worry. Edward? Fuck, let me open up the voice changer. (laughs) Don't tell me that it needs another update. It does. It better... Okay, thank God. (laughs) This... Over here? I have have to go, go, Carlisle. I have have to to go go now. now. What happened? Can't find a bathroom out here? Nothing. Nothing Yeah. yeah. But But uh, uh, but but it will will if if I stay. stay. He'd reached for my arm. I felt how it had hurt him when I cringed away from his hand. I'm, I'm cringing, cringing away, away from, from everything, everything here. here. Me too. <laughs> Shut up! I don't, I don't understand. understand. <laughs> Have you ever... Has there ever been a time? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I mean, I could always go with this. This will really be interesting to listen to. Stop! <laughs> you know, it's a real shame that I can't hear this. It is, because it's fucking annoying. Dad, please stop. <laughs> uh, I watched myself take a deep breath. Saw the wild light in my eyes through his filter of, uh, through the filter of his deep concern. I just got Fenrir. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. That was uh, fast. Yeah. Uh, it's a beginner summon thing. You know, try to encourage me. Uh, uh, any, any, anyways. <laughs> Your line is has. 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 I have already lost my place. <laughs> has any one person. <laughs> Has any one person ever smelled better to you than the rest of them? Much better? Yeah, your mom. Oh. Got him. I don't, I don't have, have a mom. mom. <laughs> I have an ox. <laughs> you, ha- you may ha- Sucks to be you then. How about that, buddy? My species doesn't have parents. Oh, yeah, well... Sh- <laughs> shut up. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Mr. I don't have parents. <laughs> I've already lost my place again. God, Tom! <laughs> Tom! Where are you? Help! <laughs> it's happening again. <laughs> when I don't know. Oh, uh, when I'd know. When I'd known that he'd understood my face had fallen with shame, he'd reached out to touch me, ignoring it when I recoiled again and left his hand on my shoulder. It got really awkward. Do what you, you must, must resist, resist, son. son. I, will I will miss, miss you. you. Here, Here take, take my, my car. car. It's, it's faster. faster. No. What? No! <laughs> That's not the logic for this series! <laughs> this man can run around a room and kill everyone in less than a minute. The fuck you mean? That car is faster. Until, I guess if he's going a hundred... 
<laughs> if he's flooring it. But at the same time, like even in the original like books, there's the whole thing is like one of Edward's brothers literally just jumped onto the back of a moving car. So at very least, normal street speeds are not faster. Boy, this daddy is stupid. <laughs> Anyways. I hate it when my daddy's stupid. <laughs> he was... Can't yeah. even use the handcuffs right. <laughs> he was wondering now if he'd done the right thing then, sending me away, wondering if he hadn't hurt me with his lack of trust. No, I whispered as I ran. That was what I needed. I might so easily have betrayed that trust if you'd told me to stay. Oof. <clears throat> I'm sorry you're suffering, Eduard, but you could but you should do what you can to keep the swan child alive, even if it means that you must leave us again. I know, I know. Uh Why? <laughs> Why? Did you come back? You know how happy I am to have you here, but if this is too difficult I don't like feeling a coward. Aw, oh, poor baby. I know, like, that is actually an actual way to phrase that sort of thing, but that my mind goes somewhere else. Really? Because I'm a whore! Oof! I admitted. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I don't like feeling jog- this man. He's a coward. <laughs> <laughs> Read slow. We were barely jogging through the darkness now. Better than to put her in danger. She'll be gone in a year or two. Yeah, dummy. You're right, I know that. Contrarily, though, his words only made me more anxious to stay. This girl would be gone in a year to God, fucking... Dummy. You know, she'll be gone probably around the time that her uh, that her Native American friend suddenly Im- like suddenly does a soulmate imprint thing on one of her eggs in her uterus. Uh, part, please. I'm not kidding. I, I no, I remember that part, and I hate I hate it. <laughs> it was really weird how the child just kind of grew faster too, really conveniently. Well, like, I think that might have had to do with the fact that Stephanie Meyer is a mother, so the idea of just having your child out of the house in o- under a year is just really appealing. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> <laughs> just, I want my children gone and fast and with a man, you know, so I don't have to take care of them anymore. Which, and that's then, also yeah. not the only time that one of the werewolf, or quote-unquote werewolves, they're later explained to not actually be werewolves. What? Uh Bullshit! Apparently they're just a type of Native American shapeshifter. But not a skinwalker. Like, some other thing. So they're like that SCP skinwalker thing? Or you know what I'm talking about? Uh, possibly. There's that was like, going off the mythological skinwalker, which is... Yeah, and there's like a Native American SCP thing like that that I think is based off that story. I know there's one based on the Wendigo, too. Really? Yeah. Fuck, it's we're like off topic this, again! <laughs> it's a deer skull that possesses people. Oh, scary. Yeah. Well, considering the fact that they, when they get possessed, they start eating people... Oh, yeah. Very scary. Carlisle stopped running, and I stopped with him. He turned to examine my expression. Expression? God damn, I need to stop losing my place. (laughs) But you're not going to run, are you? You're not a bitch. I didn't raise you to be a bitch, so if you run... I'm only getting flashbacks to Fifty Shades again. Why did you run away from our relationship? You know, because that's something that a normal person says whenever they're not trying to guilt someone. Clearly he is trying to guilt them. (laughs) Edward's being guilted by Daddy. Aw, poor Daddy's so alone. I hung my head. Is it pride, Edward? There's no shame in... No, it isn't pride that keeps me here. Not now. It's that sweet, sweet blood. That sweet, sweet wait, teenager. Fuck! (laughs) Shit! (laughs) Uh, I swear, it it wasn't me. I didn't do it. (laughs) You're lying. Uh, uh, 
Are you sure it's my line? Yes, because I said uh, not pride. Not now. Really? My Your line, line is the next one. Is it, though? Yes. Uh, nowhere to go? I laughed shortly. No, that wouldn't stop me. If I could make myself leave. How do you laugh shortly? Is Edward actually really short? Heh! Heh, heh, short people, heh. <laughs> we'll come with you, of course, if that's what you need. You only have to ask. You've moved on a complaint for, for the rest of them. They won't begrudge you this. Okay, so, so far, the only likable characters are Carlisle and Alice. Yeah, of course. And, and that one vampire woman who goes around fucking humans. <laughs> because she's just a really patient person for some reason. <laughs> she's just trying to get the hugs on people, that's all. I mean, granted, you could say that she's enabling Edward, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? She's being nice to her brother. Well, no, no, that's a diff... That one's a part of a different coven. Oh. I forgot that that was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, we have Alice, the one that, seems, that still remembers that people are humans, and if memory serves, she was, like, even a big favorite among people who hated the series. Yeah, I think you told me about that. If memory serves, there was even shipping between her and Bella. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, we have Carlisle, who is the vampire who works as a doctor. Really? Yeah, that's Carlisle's whole thing. Apparently, he also steals, like, spare blood bags from there, but... Oh. <laughs> Apparently. If memory serves. <laughs> I'm just going to leave Carlisle, or whatever his name is, here with the blood bags. Hope nothing happens. Comes back. <laughs> Where the fuck are all the blood bags? I, I don't know. <laughs> right, you do have the whole thing that after a disaster hits, people start, like, donating, like, over-donating blood. So just a whole bunch of blood that will never get used ends up there. Yeah, it's probably his logic. No one's using it. It'll be fine. <laughs> Everybody has this blood type. <laughs> Yeah, he has to, like, make sure to stay away from, like, the rare O positive or whatever. <laughs> he stays away from the universal donor stuff. <laughs> yeah. But everyone else? Nah. Those he dudes... steals the really common shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, A or B or whatever, he's just like, yes! No one's gonna need this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, uh, where are we again? Let's see. Nowhere to go. I left shortly. Uh, I raised one eyebrow. That's my I, line. Okay. He laughed, yes. Rosalie. I'm going with Rosalie. Rosalie might, but she owes you. Anyways, it's much better for us to leave now. No damage done than for us to leave later, after life has been ended. All humor was gone by the end. Also, Rosalie's another interesting one, because, I'm not gonna lie, I'd watch a movie based on her backstory. Really? Well, because I, I think I mentioned this... It was either in... when. Yeah, I think I mentioned this one because it was the whole thing of uh, she was raped by her husband and his best men like around the oh. time of their wedding, left for dead, got turned into a vampire by Carlisle, who found her on the edge of death, and then she went on a murder spree, killing, killing all the people who attempted, uh, who like raped her in her wedding dress. <laughs> You Which told me I, about that. Yes, I would watch a movie. I would watch that movie. It, it, it'd be like I spit on your grave, but with vampires. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully they wouldn't have it to where the rape scene like last 14, like four minutes. Or how long did the one line that last? It was way too long. Made it real weird. Uh, it was, yeah, kind of. Because it was the whole thing is like at the beginning, it's like, yeah, this is really uncomfortable. And I completely understand why she goes and murders these people. Mm -hmm. One of them, she literally, like, uh, like, pretends that she's not going to kill him, like, pretends that she's had some, like, weird Stockholm Syndrome thing happen, gets him erect, then cuts off his dick and locks him in the bathroom. Woo! Ooh! And so she's sitting in the living room, list, uh, like, puts on a record on to drown out his screaming, and starts reading... <laughs> And so you just hear him in the background screaming as he's bleeding to death through his dick. <laughs> oh, fucking metal. <sighs> Ugh. Oh, God. 
Uh, let's see where... <laughs> uh, right. Uh, I flinched at his words. Yes, I agreed. My voice sounded hoarse. God damn it, every time I close the thing. That's the... You're not leaving. leaving. I sighed. I should. What holds you here, Edward? I'm failing to see. I don't know if I can explain. Even... Even to myself, <laughs> it made no sense. You measured my expression for a long moment. No, I do not see, but I will respect your privacy if you prefer. Again, this is just kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I get that you can, like, hear people's minds, but I'd still probably let them speak. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's generous of you, seeing as how I, I give privacy to no one, with one exception, and what, uh, and I was doing, uh, and I was doing what I could to deprive her of that, wasn't I? What? I, I, okay, yeah, because he's incapable of letting anyone have any privacy. <laughs> Why? Because he automatically reads minds. Oh, I thought this Nothing. was Daddy speaking. <laughs> Daddy respects no one's privacy. Exactly. Daddy's That's what the I was reason thinking. why you have a long password on your phone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Otherwise, Daddy will start peeking. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> uh, Daddy! Daddy, please! Just wanna... Oh, gosh. Why? <sighs> You're lying. You just caught the scent of a small no, herd of... before that one. We all have our quirks, he laughed. Shall we? Or he laughed again. Uh, he just got the scent of a small herd of deer. It was hard to rally much enthusiasm for what was, even under the best of circumstances, a less than mouth-watering aroma. Clearly this motherfucker's never eaten deer before. Clearly. Right now, with the memory of the girl's blood fresh in my mind, the smell was actually, uh, the smell actually turned my stomach. Into what? I sighed. Let's... I agreed, though I knew that forcing more blood down my throat would he would help so little. We both shifted into a hunting crouch and let the unappealing scent pull us silently forward. Again, you're able to move about as fast as a speeding car. <laughs> I don't think you need to stealth it. I would just, yeah, I'd just scream and just start ramming into deer if I could run that fast. I probably wouldn't scream as that might alert people. <laughs> But take off dead sprint and ram into deer. That would be so hilarious. Just the deer's minding its own business, and the next thing it knows, it just looks up, and I'm there, just oh, yelling loudly at it. <laughs> and by the time it realizes what's happening, it's already like on the ground because I've just run into it that fast. There's repeats, and then there's reports from people around about weird screaming in the night. But they can't find the trace because it just happens so fast. <laughs> You're lying. Is it though? Yes. Really? Stop playing around with Fenrir. <laughs> but it's it's a doggo. I I, I gotta. Who doesn't she is like a heck doggo? Of a doggo, but <laughs> the doggo man. The doggo. God. It was colder when we returned home. The melted snow had frozen. If it it was as if a thin sheet of glass covered everything. Each pine needle, each fern frond, each blade of grass was iced over. Carlisle went to dress for his early shift at the hospital. I stayed, uh, I stayed by the river, waiting for the sun to rise. I felt almost swollen from the amount of blood I consumed. But I knew <laughs> the lack of actual thirst would mean little as, uh, when I sat beside the girl again. This is an extreme thirst. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are we again? Uh, cool and motionless. Cool and motionless as a stone I sat on. 
I stared at the dark water running beside the icy bank, stared right through it. I could spring for some fish. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Carlisle was right. I should leave Forks. They, sh they could spread some story to explain my absence. Boarding school in Europe. Visiting distant relatives. Teenage runaway. Story didn't matter. No one would question too intensely. Mostly because no one would care. Because I yeah, am a exactly. very boring individual who only has looks going for them. And to be honest, that doesn't do jack shit when it comes to people being interested in you. <laughs> you need a personality. I can just picture everyone just being like, who, who's the colon guy again? Was like, that the one with the weirdly symmetrical face? That always gave me the creeps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> uh, just, the creeps uh, yeah, thing or the weirdly symmetrical thing? <laughs> just all of it. Just like, imagine being known as the guy with the symmetrical face and that's all people know you as. <laughs> the weirdly symmetrical face. <laughs> yeah, it's well, the weirdly symmetrical face guy. Because that's the whole thing, is like, typically the thing that's associated most with whether or not someone's conventionally attractive is how symmetrical their face is. Which, you're never going to have a perfectly symmetrical face, no matter what, one of your eyes is going to be slightly different than the other, your, one of your nostrils is going to be bigger than the other, stuff like that. Yeah. And so, it's one of those things, it's like, Vampires are supposed to be visually alluring in this universe. Like, that's what makes it, uh, like, people are just naturally, dr supposed to be naturally drawn to them and stuff like that, and that's why they are supposed to be, like, supernaturally attractive. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm just imagining, yeah, his face was weirdly symmetrical. I've ne never met anyone whose nostrils were both the same size. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, mostly you think everything's the same size, but like for these guys you could like tell, and just like everyone's weirded out about it. It's very uncomfortable. Just like, hi, Ed, bye Edward. Bye. Why is it that you don't, like, why is it that your freckles are symmetrical? Yeah. <laughs> why do you have fr Why do you have a mole on both sides of your mouth? <laughs> Instead of just under one side. Why are they under both eyes and not just one? <laughs> like stuff like that. Oh my Why gosh. Are your everyone... eyebrows exactly the same. Oh yeah, that would be real weird. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like typically whenever someone has like a beauty mark or something, it's only on one side. Yeah. So they'll just have like one little dark brown mole like under one eye or like at one corner of the mouth or something like my that. My name is Edward Cullen. I have <laughs> I have a... <laughs> I can't even say it. The only interesting thing about me is my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. The, Jeff, where are we? Uh, again, it was odd. Shit. Uh, no. It was actually the one before that. It was just a year or two, and then the girl would disappear. She would go on her life. She would have a life to go on with. She'd go to college somewhere, get older, start a career, perhaps marry someone. I could picture that. I could see the girl dressed all in white and walking at the measured pace, her arm through her father's. Why is she marrying my sister? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Just like, why is my sister? Hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs to go see a therapist. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> sorry, I'm still thinking about that ship. <laughs> I should introduce her to my sister. <laughs> <laughs> just reminds me of this one thing. Is like one story on Tumblr someone has. Like, yeah, I met this one dude at a bar. Like, long, 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 blonde hair, blonde beard. Basically, looked like Thor. <laughs> and then suddenly asked me if I wanted a drink. And it's, uh, to which I replied, "Sorry, I'm a lesbian." And he responded. Hey, relax. My sister's gonna be here tomorrow. I'll introduce the two of you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just got wingmanned by Thor. <laughs> Thor's setting you up on a date. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. It was odd. The pain that image caused me. <laughs> I don't know. Thor wingmanning a lesbian is an amazing image. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs>
Last I checked, the majority of the lesbians of Tumblr love Thor. <laughs> who? Well, I mean, who doesn't like Thor? Yes. <laughs> Just yes. <laughs> yes. I should leave her to her future. Stop risking. Hey, you, was... you, you skipped me. <laughs> well, sorry, I thought you said it. I'm just used to taking all the time. My bad. I, I couldn't understand it. Was I jealous of your sister? <laughs> <laughs> because Ooh. she had a future that I could never have. <laughs> I can't take this seriously now. <laughs> that made no sense. Every one of the humans around me has the same potential ahead of them. Death. I mean, a life. <laughs> And I rarely stop to envy them. <laughs> you're not really even envying, you're just... Ugh. God, Obnoxious, this is getting... <laughs> a jealous ass because you can't imagine the thought of someone else having this person. Despite the fact that you're written by a Mormon and therefore you should know how to share, except for the fact that early Mormons are... A Mormonism is a, a, a pretty intrinsically sexist really, uh, Religion, when it comes down to how their polygamy operates, is the woman in the relationship is considered nothing more than property, and it's also kind of the whole thing of why Mormon women aren't allowed alone with a man that they aren't married to. She's not going to do anything. <clears throat> Which is why those two Mormons who ambushed me in the middle of the night outside the campus library probably thought that I was a woman for my silhouette. What? That was a thing. You You okay there? Uh, never. <laughs> never, huh? I was, I kid you not, back when I was living in the dorms, uh, I was leaving the library, it was like fucking nine at night, so completely pitch black, and these two Mormon women <laughs> come up to me <laughs> and start just questioning me about relig about morality and religion. <laughs> like, do you believe that morality requires God to exist? Goodbye. <laughs> just, just like, uh, nope, not getting into this conversation later. Well, their eyes terrified me, so I was kind of worried about what would happen if I tried to leave. <laughs> you, you run, that's all you do. You and don't look out, back. And I found out later about, like, the whole, like, uh, how, like, the whole gender politics things work. They probably thought that I was a woman. <laughs> Why are they, like, <laughs> harassing other women on campus, though? People in Mormonism. <laughs> Surprise, Mormonism. So just for like a good portion of that uh, semester, I just had this Mormon business card in my pocket because I was too lazy to get rid of it. <laughs> just, just, well, <laughs> I have this card now. Y you guys want to see it? Where'd you I get that? I, I think I just tucked it into my wallet or something like that. Just kind of forgot about it, pulled out, pulled it out one time, like, oh, Oh shit, that's in there? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I got rid of this. Huh. Uh, you're lying. Is it though? Yes. Really? Yes. Why? Uh, because we have to get through this. <laughs> Do we really have to though? We've only got to the third page of chapter three. <laughs> really? How long have we been doing this? 30 minutes. What? Oh gosh! <laughs> this chapter is. <laughs> Let's see. We started at page fifty-one. I've just passed page sixty-seven. <laughs> uh, We're not used to chapters this long. We really aren't. Oh my god! It's right about twenty-five pages. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna get very far though. So. Uh. Yeah. We typically uh, only get through half a chapter. Mm-hmm. This time, though, uh, probably not even that. <sighs> uh, I should leave her to her future, right? Yes. I should leave her to her future. Stop risking her life. Th that was the right thing to do. Carlisle always shows the right way. I should listen to him now. Meow. Like when he decided to enroll his immortal adopted children into high school. It really be like that sometimes. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. This <laughs> is just a, really... a high school fantasy! This is a dumb thing to do. <laughs> also, being as you're marketing it towards teenage girls, or, like, teenagers in general, honestly, this typically tends to apply, and the whole thing about them is that they tend to, uh, is that they tend to more fantasize about being adults when it make more sense to actually have it take place in college. Yeah, but, like... 
Or is it because of the fact that you need someone that your care that uh, your writer readers are going to immediately imprint on? So you just made it to where, aside from the lack of any personality whatsoever, they also are in high school. So she's actually just really into anime. Oh God! She's been taking like notes from anime this whole time. Oh, all those shitty isekai stuff. <laughs> yep, it's just a bunch of really shitty isekai stuff. Whole bunch of shitty high school, like uh, magical high school series. Um, <laughs> yeah, yep, top. that's what this entire series has been. <laughs> it's been a shitty uh, magical high school anime this entire time. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to find out this way. <laughs> that's why it's so sexist. <laughs> <laughs> What's this character's personality? Tits. <laughs> what? That, what about this one? She's a small child. Oh. That's not really a, a personality there, buddy. It is for anime. <laughs> but up up <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> uh, the right. sun rose behind the clouds, a faint glimmer glistened off the fro all the frozen glass. I had jumped through the window to the house again on accident. Oh god damn it. But your memory serves in the movie, it's floor-to-ceiling windows. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's just glass everywhere. Because if memory serves, like, their house is above the constant fog. <laughs> <laughs> Which is another thing, like, Forks is one of the cloudiest places in the U.S., but it's not constant cloud cover. It's, uh, vampire magic. Yeah, that's it. Well, it's explained that any time the sun is out, they're absent from school, and that their cover story is just that like they're out hiking or doing something of the sort. Man, this series came out at the wrong time, because like, just today, it could just be like, they're just a bunch of losers, you know, <laughs> sitting in their house all day. <laughs> they're a bunch of hikigamori neats. Uh, hikigamori yep. neats. <laughs> yep, it's just a bunch of, it's a family full of nerds. It's a family of neats. <laughs> Carlisle's not a doctor. He just stays at home all day and plays video games <laughs> and watches anime. <laughs> he watches and plays like doctor games, so he just says he's a doctor because he thinks it's cool. This one's my waifu. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> it's just been the shitting on anime episode. <laughs> it, it's it's really. What what are we doing? Why why is this the episode? <laughs> I think it's just because I am that sick of like angry nerd videos, like videos from angry like weebs popping up in my recommended <laughs> that I have just reached a breaking point. <laughs> The real, like, the real sad it. part is that, that YouTube assumes you'll like watching. That's the real sad part. Oh yeah, because I watch a because I watch videos from like Mother's Basement, who actually does do like analysis and shit into anime. It just assumes, oh, you like all anime videos. Hey, here's another video of people calling anyone that does uh, that takes issue with Rising of the Sword Hero and SJW. <laughs> oh God. And, like, I fucking hate how that word gets thrown around, because much like the word fake deep in rap, it is not actually, like, going after anyone. It's not actually being used on, like, people who are, like, misguided or doing anything just, like, for the sake of starting a fight. But it's like, oh, no, this person is just, like, bringing up some sort of social commentary issue with this piece of media. Therefore, <laughs> they're a social justice warrior. <laughs> Kind of like how with fake deep, it's not like, oh, this person's pretending that they have some deep message. It's just like, no, they're trying to have a deep message. <laughs> yeah. So if it does have a deep message, but it turns out to just be slightly preachy, oh, well, they're fake deep. <sighs> fake deep. Yeah, that just sounds like a buzzword people are trying to use. It is. It's when it should be used on people like Jaden Smith, who compared himself to Martin Luther King in one of his reps. J Jaden Smith, like Will Smith's son. That that yes. that boy, that boy did not. He I refuse did. to believe that's a real thing. He did. 
Called him, also called himself the male Maleficent. <laughs> and as well as, like, talking about conspiracy theories, it's like, wait, your dad's a Scientologist. <laughs> His dad is? What? Really? <laughs> Will Smith's a Scientologist? <laughs> Can we just like? Can I go home? You are home. Yeah, but like, just never go back outside again because everyone's stupid. Like... No, like, I, 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 deep breaths. I can't. I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to live on Earth anymore. Can I go to Larternia? At least there, I'll just, it'll, I'll just get stabbed and it'll be over with. But here, <laughs> I have to suffer through all this bullshit. <sighs> oh, shit. Uh, what line are we on? One more day. <laughs> one more day, I decided. I would see her one more time. I could handle that. Perhaps I would mention my pending disappearance, set the story up, and then she gets hit by a car for some reason. Eh. It's weird. One more day, one more time, one more sunset, baby, I'll be satisfied. How about no? <laughs> of all the things to rem remind me of a country song, it's the fact that it just suddenly said, one more day, one more time. <laughs> Somebody clearly has an earworm. I I completely forgot that song existed. Yet here we are, hearing it now. Oh shit! Honestly, with that discussion, I'm just so riled up and loopy. This is actually starting to become fun because <laughs> I'm stuck in a laughing mood. This was going to be difficult. I could feel that in the heavy reluctance that was already making me think of excuses to stay, to extend the deadline to two, uh, two days, three, four. And then, but then I again, farted. I know what it would do. <laughs> One more day. <laughs> Just uh... keep wishing, baby, for one more day with you. <laughs> <laughs> Much uh... to conflict no. Uh, but I this would do the right thing. I knew I could trust Carlisle's advice. I also knew that I was much too conflicted to make the right decision alone. Who's Carlisle? Carlisle's the daddy. All right. <laughs> uh... Much too conflicted is your line. Much too conflicted. How much of this reluctance came from my obsessive curiosity and how much came from my unsatisfied type? <laughs> Speaking of curiosity, I, <laughs> nope. I went back to change into fresh clothes for school. Oh. Alice was waiting for me, weirdo. Sitting on top of the step at the edge of the third floor. That's even weirder. Who lives in a three-story house anymore? Rich people. Are, Are we leaving again? again? She accused me. Yes, I said before yeeting her out the window for being a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> for thinking. <laughs> yep. I sighed and nodded. I can't, I can't see, see where, where you're going, going this time. time. It's because I didn't want you to know. Bitch. Everyone's maybe, just so nosy. Leave him alone. <laughs> or maybe it's because of the fact that because of Bella's weird immunity to power, she can't see a future that involves Bella. <laughs> but that's like a sensible answer. Who cares about sensible answers? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going yet, I whispered. I want, I want you, you to stay. stay. I shook my head. She smelled weird. Maybe, maybe Jazz, Jazz and I, I can come, come with, with you. you. They'll need you off the more if I'm not here to watch out for them. And think of Esme. Would you take half her family away in one blow? What if somebody just get turned into a vampire as a child? Like, what Maybe happens it, then? Uh, it actually gets explained that a baby vampire would be quite possibly one of the most dangerous things possible because of the alluring uh, property of vampires combined with the fact that it's a baby. People would be immediately drawn to it and being as it's a baby, it would immediately drain their blood. 
<sighs> Terrifying. Yeah, but like <clears throat> I'm talking like teenage like teenagers are like ten year olds. Oh, that age. You probably have a similar situation depending on how young they are because you're also dealing with the fact they were talking about someone who does, uh, like, depending on how young they are, they wouldn't understand the concept of, like, patience and uh, not going for immediate gratification. Yeah, I'm wondering if they could learn it, though, like that vampire from, you know, Skyrim who was, like, five years old or whatever. Given how it's been stated vampires are in this series, I'm not too sure they're big on learning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If Edward's Character any... Character development's that. Oh no, becoming a vampire makes you immune to character development. Oh shit. <laughs> You're going, going to make, make her, her so sad. sad. I know, that's why you have to stay. Make her not sad. It's not, it's not the, the same, same as, as having you here, here and you know it. it. Yes, but I have to do what is right. What is right to stay here, though? <laughs> there, are there are many, many right, right ways. ways and many many you got out. Did you finish? No, no. There, there are, are many, many right, right ways, ways and many wrong, wrong ways, though, though, aren't there? there? For a brief moment, she was swept away into one of her strange visions. I watched the indistinct images flickered and whirled. I saw myself mixed in strange shadows that I couldn't make out. Hazy, imprecise forms. Seems all kinds of weird. <laughs> or maybe it's my connection. And then suddenly, my skin was glittering in the bright sunlight of a small open meadow. This was a place where I knew there was a figure in the meadow with me. But again, it was indistinct. Not there. Enough to recognize. The image shivered and disappeared as a million tiny choices rearranged the future again. Okay, so that actually does show the whole thing of the fact that she's... Like immune to vampire powers more or less <laughs> being as she couldn't really be seen in the vision yeah <laughs> that must like really scare her just like having a shadowy yeah <laughs> just imagine like, like, like your bill like sorry interrupted you just eventually you should figure out it was like bella all the time but like bef beforehand it's probably really fucking weird yeah, like you're just there and you suddenly see something that you can't figure out what it is in your visions and it's just constantly there. <laughs> what is this thing? It's just standing there, menacingly. Menacingly. <laughs> Three, take it or leave it. <laughs> I didn't catch much of that, I told her when the vision went dark. Good, you weren't supposed to. <laughs> Get out of my head, nerd. Me either. Your future is shifting around so much, I can't keep any of it. I think, though... She stopped, and she flipped through a vast collection of her other recent visions of uh, for me. They were all the same, blurry and vague. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. I think something is changing, though, she said out loud. Your life seems to be at a crossroads. Either you're going to do something stupid or you're not. Better make the right decision, dumbass. You're either going to be do something stupid or do something stupid. <laughs> Personally, I hope it's the stupid thing, but you know. It can <laughs> but get it stupider. could always be the stupid thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I laughed grimly. You do realize that you sound like a bogus gypsy at a carnival, right? She punched me in the face. <laughs> she kneed me in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> she stuck her tingy t teeny tongue out at me. That's a weird way to describe her tongue. <laughs> Did we really need to know that she had a small tongue? <laughs> Is that a feature that's going to be used in the Alice Bella fanfictions? <laughs> Hello, I have teeny tongue. It only goes out like five centimeters out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Can't have much fun. <laughs> Yep. Don't, nope. <laughs> ah. Nope. Nope. Gonna make a conolingus joke. Um. Uh, so, nope. Today is all right, though, isn't it? I asked, my voice suddenly apprehens abruptly apprehensive. She shook her head. Nah, you crazy, dude. <laughs> I don't see you killing anyone today, she assured me. Thanks, Alice. She totally lied. <laughs> <laughs> Go get dressed. I won't say anything. I'll let you tell the others when you're ready. She stood and darted back down the stairs, her shoulders hunched slightly. Miss, Miss you? you? Really? really? 
Yes, I would really miss her, too. Oh, oh shit, I thought that was sarcastic. Whoops. I know. <laughs> Let me retry that. <laughs> I forgot. For some reason, I was not in Alice mode. Yeah. Yeah. Really. really. There we go. <laughs> I'm not repeating my line, though. It was a quiet ride to school. Jasper could tell that Alice was upset about something, but he knew that if she wanted to talk about it, she would have done so already. Unfortunately, I could just read everyone's mind, so I know whether or not they want to talk about it, uh, regardless of whether or not they want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm kind of a dick with my powers. <laughs> you can't turn them off, though, right? That's the problem. Well, yeah. He can try to block them out. but Clearly, he doesn't try hard enough to. Eamon and Rosalie were ob oblivious, having other, uh, having another of their moments, gazing each into each other's eyes with wonder. Um, hmm. <laughs> it could just be the fact that the majority of my relationships have been spade-wise, but it doesn't seem like just a normal relationship thing is just... It's direct not. eye, it's... direct constant eye contact. <laughs> That's weird. Just a little. I mean, if they had like the powers Edward have, it would make sense because you could they could just have maybe having an entire conversation. But no, yeah. they're just kind of staring at each other right now. Maybe they're just so boring. That's all they can do. Okay. Granted, after uh, Bella and Edward start going out, they basically just never stop saying "I love you" to each other. Like that's a normal thing. Edward just needs a lot of reinsurance. That's all. <laughs> Edward's just 84 years of touch starved. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or 101, I guess. Uh, it was rather disgusting to watch from the outside. Jealous. I'm just imagining that because of the, the mind-reading powers, he's seeing through their eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just they're just like looking at them. <laughs> or they're just like constantly saying dirty stuff to each other in their minds, and he's just like, ew. Please stop. Oh, I can't rate. <laughs> no, no. Ah, fuck. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Uh, well, or maybe it was uh, uh, from the outside. We were all quite aware of how desperate, desperately in love they were. Again, you're how old and been together how long? Why are you still in the honeymoon phase? Yeah, that was gotten boring by now. <laughs> You'd think it'd just be in the normal relationship phase where you two no longer have any filter towards each other and don't really care about each other seeing the best parts of yourself, so you're just absolutely, like, just not the honeymoon phase. Yeah. And, like, you're okay with each other knowing just how, how much of a terrible person you are. It's like, hold on, I gotta go take a mad shit. Just stuff like that. You know, know, kind of the whole thing of why the uh, the main uh, the girls from Kanasuba are always high ranking are current are still like high ranking in the quote unquote waifu wars. <laughs> oh, are they really? Yeah, uh, Mother's Basement did like a video analyzing it, and it seems to be that it might have to do with the fact that they aren't like overly perfect, like trying to make like that whole like always see their best selves thing. It's like no, they're terrible people. <laughs> yeah, but they're you know so who lovable. they. Yeah, it's the whole thing of you know who they really are. None of it is, like, fake <laughs> from a yeah. character standpoint. It's not a whole bunch of, like, posturing and shit. It's like, no, this is just who they are, and they are terrible people, and it's amazing. <laughs> uh, or maybe I was just being bitter because I was the only one alone. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Funny joke? Funny joke? I can't do a Yoda impression. Me neither. Some days it was harder than others to live with three sets of perfectly matched lovers. This was one of them. He's the seventh wheel. <laughs> Hi, my name is Edward, and I am the seventh wheel. <laughs> this is why he's a bitter douchebag. <laughs> Probably... All right, so where are we? You know, right? like the majority of anime. <laughs> you are still on that, dude. I hate how everyone is part of a couple except for me. Oh, oh. god damn! <laughs> Fuck this! 
How dare these people be in a happy relationship in front of me? <laughs> I'm going to go be bitter about it and hopefully end up in a magical situation where I'm surrounded by pretty women who have no personality outside of the fact that they're attractive. <laughs> Ooh, we're opening up a lot of feelings right now. <laughs> Uh, I swear, I am just at a breaking point with this shit showing up in my recommended. You can always just turn it off. The recommended? Just turn off YouTube. I was about to say, the recommended is how I get most episodes of uh, Best of the Worst and Half in the Bag. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see a video of Macaulay Culkin hanging out with a bunch of people from Wisconsin talking about bad movies. <laughs> I'm not kidding. In one of their episodes, they did get Macaulay Culkin as a vet, uh, as a uh, guest, uh, as like a guest on the show. Nice. How'd they do that? Apparently, he's just. Uh, apparently, they know him. Oh. Or they managed, or like either that, or he's a fan of the series because he also showed up in a previous episode as like a cameo. Oh, cool. But he showed up, and they did a review of one of the Home Alone seat, uh, and they uh, talked about. Not like a full, uh, they did a best of the worst, uh, Plinketto episode. So it was three, like their best of the worst, they talk about three bad movies. Yeah. And so one of the movies they talked about was one of the Home Alone sequels. I think the fifth one. Really? <laughs> like that was the movie he brought. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, God wow. damn. I think it's your line. Really? Yeah, maybe they would all be happier. Maybe they'd all be happier without me hanging around, ill-tempered and belligerent as an old man I should be by now. Yeah, go home, Ed Edward. Nobody likes you, God, nerd. he's such a sad sack. Like me. Not really. I was about to say, you're not nearly this obnoxious. You're still best, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, uh... Of course, the first thing I did when I, we reached the school was to look for the girl. Just to be, uh, just preparing myself again. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, you you tell yourself that, Edward. It was embarrassing how my world suddenly seemed to be empty of everything but her. My whole existence centered around the girl rather than around myself anymore. Uh... It was easy to understand, though. It was easy to understand, though. Uh, though really, after 80 years of the same thing every day and every change became a point of absorption. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. That's the only thing that I can agree with in this story so far. <laughs> that and Alice. Carlisle. And the slutty vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the only ones, the only things I like about this. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Because they're not assholes. Yeah. She had not arrived yet, but I could hear her the thunderous chugging of her truck's engine in the distance. I leaned against the side of the car to wait. Alice stayed with me while the others went straight to class. They were bored with my fixation. <laughs> Gee, I wonder. <laughs> It was incomprehensible to them how any human could hold my interest for so long, no matter how delicious she smelled. I think it's more just the fact that you're boring. Yeah, it's probably that. Oh, Can we, uh... it, where did I go? Uh, fuck, I scrolled down on accident. Uh-oh. It's your line, but I don't know where I am. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, it would be the girl drives, drove slowly. The girl drove slowly? Is that my yeah. line? Yeah. Is it? Yes. Really? Yes. The girl drove slowly into view, her eyes intent on the road and her hands tied on the wheel. She seemed anxious about something. It took me a second to figure out what that something was to realize that every human wore the same expression today. Ah, the road was slick with ice and they were all trying to drive more carefully. <laughs> I could see she was taking the added risk seriously. Well, of Gee, course. I wonder why. <laughs> Please don't tell me that, like, you weren't taking this risk seriously. Uh... 
while driving uh, to school. Edward. Edward, are you being an irresponsible human being? Are I mean, you being you're a vampire. an irresponsible driver? <sighs> Road safety isn't a joke, Edward. You know what? Maybe this is why. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you can run at the, fa- at the f- as fast as a car, you really sh- don't, you know, spend a lot of time driving. <laughs> Edward's just never driven on the ice, so he just doesn't get it. He's gonna get in his car and just, like, slide into the ditch. I'm imagining, like, the speed they can run at if you hit a patch of ice. <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> he just goes flying into the trees. Just launch yourself. <sighs> it God. seemed in line... <laughs> with what little I had learned of her character. That she takes ro- that she understands road safety and the fact that you shouldn't drive like a fucking idiot on ice. <laughs> I added this to my small list. She was a serious person. A responsible person. Good. Unlike some people in this damn story. She parked not too far from me, but she hadn't noticed me standing here here yet, staring at her. God damn it, Edward. I wondered what she would do if she would do when she did. Blush and walk away. <laughs> that was my first guess, but maybe she'd stare back and assert dominance. Maybe she would T-pose. come talk to me. <laughs> T pose aggressively T poses toward Edward. Aggressively T poses while hooting. Hoot, 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 hoot. Well, I mean, with those big owl eyes, she could stare him down. Just (laughs) extend her neck up to be (laughs) tall. Meanwhile, she's actually not even, like, moving her legs. She's just sliding slowly closer to him. (laughs) Guys. I'm just flashing back to your fucking D&D character. So what is everyone's height? Uh... (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. Uh, It varies. (laughs) I can just hold my head taller, higher. You can always stare someone down. (laughs) Oh my gosh, there's big dragons in our group, or big lizard people, just like, pull my head up to be taller than them. Yeah, who's cool now? (laughs) Just imagining, like, my character being 6'2", just hand head over. (laughs) (laughs) Oh god, I might have to remember stuff like that for later. (laughs) Uh-huh. See how shit turns out. <laughs> I took a deep breath, filling my lungs hopefully, just in case. She got out of the truck with, with care, testing the slick ramp before she put her weight on it. She didn't look up, and that frustrated me. Maybe I would go w- talk to her. She immediately busted her ass on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> just her like a squawk. <laughs> <laughs> what? Gosh. <laughs> Like, steps out, just both legs fly out from under. <laughs> Panic hooting. <laughs> She's like scrabbling to get up, just more hooting. <laughs> nah. Oh, uh, no, that would be wrong. Instead. Yep. Instead of turning towards the school, she made her way to the rear of her truck, clinging to the side of the truck, bed in a truck bed in a droll way, not trusting her footing. It made me smile, and I felt Alice's eyes on my face. <laughs> he never needs a mirror. I didn't listen to whatever this made her think. I was having too much fun wa- watching the girl check her snow chains. She actually looked in some danger of falling the way her feet were sliding around. No one else was having trouble. Had she parked in the worst of the ice? I could just picture Alice is just thinking, what the fuck is he staring at? <laughs> I can't see what's happening. Does she slip? Does she not? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh, fucking hell. I mean, I can understand this part just in the whole fact, like, sometimes I do go people watching and someone trying not to slip would be something I find kind of funny. Yeah. Of course, the fact that I also just hate seeing people struggle, I'd probably ask what I can do. I'd probably, like, ask if they need help. Not (laughs) force help on them. Ask if they need help. Or at least ask if they want help. Yeah, like, he has, like, the perfect, like, slide into your DMs kind of, like, offer to talk (laughs) to her. Like, he could legitimately just be like, you need help. Hey, you want some help? (laughs) 
Exactly. <laughs> but no, he just has to stare like a fucking weirdo. Like an anime protagonist. <laughs> I assume an anime protagonist would at least try to help. No, they typically just stare because of the fact that they're typically spineless, just like their viewing, uh, just like their audience. Damn, <laughs> really hitting people with the big means right now. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I swear there are going to be I I swear if anyone does listen to this one there are going to be some pissed people. <laughs> oh for sure like dude calm down. Stop making fun <laughs> How of my dare you insult my anime? How dare you insult my anime? She paused there staring down with a strange expression on her face. It was tender? As if something about the ice uh the tire was making her emotional. Or maybe she's just worried about the possibility of busting her ass on the ice. Or maybe she's just not trying to... <laughs> she's like, thank God I got up. here. <laughs> maybe she has noticed him. She's like, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. And that's why <laughs> she's so panicked right now. Hoot, 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 hoot. <laughs> too many hoots, oh, too many hoots. Yeah. Uh, again, the curiosity ached like a thirst. <laughs> it was. I know that my... this came out before the term "thirsty" got like introduced by rap music, but this is an extreme thirst. <laughs> this memory serves like the first. I think one of the first times it was used mainstream was rap music. I only know that from SpongeBob. <laughs> well, I just mean like the term "thirsty" as in like romantic and uh, or like uh, lust and stuff like that, like. Oh. Because it was typical, uh, because, uh, it was, in the song, it was used to refer to people who just go around, like, harassing women in their DMs. Oh, like, it, oh, like, it was oh, actual... Oh, that guy's thirsty. <laughs> oh, it was even a call out of... Dang. Yeah. Nice. Alright, then. Yeesh. And then I think the Spongebob meme guys start, uh, started getting used in response to that lyric. <laughs> It's like, oh, the word thirst got introduced to the main populace. <laughs> Let's ruin it for everyone. <laughs> Ugh, uh, all right, so. Did you finish your line, or? I don't you think just so. see the thirst part. Okay, so I guess after the thirst. I've already lost where I was. Again, my curiosity, uh, the curiosity ached like a thirst, and then the line after that. Uh, hmm. It was as if I had to know what she was, as if nothing else mattered, because I'm a creepy person. Yes. <laughs> God can damn we, it. Like, can we go ban Edward from, you know... 4chan. He spends too can much just, time on there. <laughs> can we just ban him in general from everything, actually, now that I think about it? And again, uh, with the way this guy was acting, he probably would use... And everyone, oh gosh! Imagine being a vampire who complains about like how society has changed by. <laughs> by Back in my a... day, women knew their place. <laughs> uh, exactly, stuff like that. Oh God, the majority of 4chan is all just very lonely vampires. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> who were complaining about progress? Uh, who are complaining about their progression of society into a place where people are treated as people for their <laughs> inability to find love. <laughs> uh, poor, poor, poor vampire, I guess? Not really. Nah, no, don't pity the incels. <laughs> <laughs> Never pity the incels. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Okay, so you said you're... Ah. I would go talk to her. She looked as though she could use a hand anyway, at least until she was off the slick pavement. You know, like a normal person would. Hey, you want any help? <laughs> of course, I couldn't offer her that, could I? I hesitated, torn. As adverse as she seemed to the snow, she would hardly welcome the touch of my cold white hand. Should have worn She's gloves. She's wearing gloves, it's fine. <laughs> I should have worn gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I could, just, I could just see him like, crap, should have worn gloves. Damn it. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. I got distracted. What are we doing again? 
your line. My line? Yes. My line? Yes. Really? Really? Yes. yes. Really? My yes. line? Yes. Yeah. Really? Really? Yeah. My line? Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> we've been doing this all... <laughs> this is the Damn weirdest it. set of running gags we've had for an episode yet. Oh my gosh. What's happened to us? Tom! Me, me bitching about anime and you. <laughs> and me just being dumb in general. I don't know. It feels like you're saying that, doing that on purpose, honestly, this time. Wait, really? It's my line? I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Shh. You're spoiling it. Oh, fuck. You ruined the joke! God! No! <laughs> Alice gasped that she allowed. <laughs> fuck. Instantly, I scanned her thoughts, guessing at first that I had made a poor choice and she saw me doing something inexcusable that had nothing to do with me at all. Tyler Crowley had chosen to take the turn into the parking lot into an in, uh, at an injudicious, spe injudicious speed. This Whoa, that's a big word there, buddy. Someone has a word of the day calendar. For real? It's like listening to neckbeards. It's like reading neckbeard comments. Really? They basically seem to replace every word with some big synonym to make themselves seem smarter than they are. Because oh, like when those people pop in with a lot of th the sort th the people who have like the, 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 the they seem to have some weird predilection that intelligence is measured entirely on the on the sides of the words you use. I was <clears> trying <throat> to say they have a the 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 thesaurus. The, 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 the on hand. God damn it! English. Do I speak it? Apparently not. Women will go absolutely crazy over the fact that I miss you. Who is all these big words? Like, if it's someone from a foreign country, I can understand that as like, oh, they think that that's just a normal thing to vary up language. But <laughs> I would be like, hey, I'm going to say big words to mess with them. That's basically their mentality, and it's cringy. <laughs> you know who else is cringy, though? Me. Edward. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> shut up. I want Why am I trying to, like, try to out cringe Edward? What is wrong with me right now? I need to. I need to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Always know that you have a better chance of attracting women than Edward. <laughs> because Thanks. you have a personality. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Uh, You're welcome, Is it my babe. line? <laughs> no, uh, the choice would send him skidding across a patch of ice. Wait, if, do I have... So I'm best girl because I have a good personality, is that it? Yes, because you, have, you are patient enough to deal with our bullshit. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, Tyler Crowley had. Ch nope. nope. The vision came just half a second before the reality. Tyler's van ran in the corner, and as I was still watching the conclusion that had pulled the horrified gas through Alice's lips. No, this vision had nothing to do with. That's my line! <laughs> uh, whoops! No, this vision had nothing to do with me, yet it had everything to do with me because Tyler's van, the tires now, uh, right now hitting the ice at the worst possible angle, was going to spit across the lot and crush the girl who had just become the uninvited focal point of my world. <laughs> at least you know. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> even, with, even with that Alice's foresight, it would have been simple enough to read the trajectory of the vehicle flying out of Tyler's control. It was heading towards the school. Oh, God. <laughs> it would bounce off of Bella. <laughs> truck. <laughs> and... <laughs> What's gonna happen is, like, Bella just starts flapping her fucking owl wings. So the car just, like, goes it goes under her. <laughs> it's just perfectly I mean, fine. Bella just launches herself into the bed of her truck. <laughs> <laughs> she is in the back. She probably could. Because for some reason, I'm just imagining, like, her as a person with the face of an owl. <laughs> and so it's not that she can actually fly. She just uh -huh. has the abilities of an owl. She just likes to climb trees, then she can't even fly into them. <laughs> so she just, like, launches, like, jumps and la lands in the back of her truck. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> uh... The girl, standing in exactly the wrong place at the back of her truck, looked up, bewildered by the sound of the screeching tires. She looked straight into my horror-struck eyes and then turned to watch her approaching death. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not her! The words shouted in my head as if they belonged to someone else. Still locked into, uh, locked into Alice's thoughts, I saw the vision suddenly shift, but I had no time to see what the outcome would be. <laughs> 
I launched myself across the lot, throwing myself between the skinning van and the front girl. I moved so fast that everything was a streaky blur except for the object of my focus. She didn't Oh, see so me. she's just an object to you, eh? <sighs> Rookie mistake, dude. Treat Not girls even right. <laughs> <laughs> Chad Thundercock just kind of like shows up, just like keeping up with him. Chad Thundercock here. Women are not objects. Women are people. <laughs> Chad Thundercock here. Women are people and should not be considered anything less than. That. He's just like there, just like suddenly. <laughs> oh God! Keeps Edward from getting hit by the truck. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> between Edward and the truck, and with Edward between Bella and the truck, so <laughs> Chad just saves everyone. Exactly. Listen, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Women aren't object, and your creepy stalking is honestly becoming a bit of a problem. <laughs> Bella's just like, what? <laughs> Wait, he anything. was stalking me? <laughs> <laughs> Edward's just like, uh, no. <laughs> Seven foot two, muscular as fuck, Chad Thundercock, staring down upward. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that within our series, Chad Thundercock is just this guy who gives out like great advice for dealing with people. <laughs> well, of course. That's just what Chad Thundercock's built for. <laughs> Chad He's... Thundercock is built for feminism. <laughs> He was grown in a lab just for this occasion. No, I'm just imagining, like, the, like, because, like, the whole, like, phrase, like, built, like, a brick shit house and shit like that. Like, just his physique. <laughs> <laughs> Chad's Thundercock, uh, Chad Thundercock's massive muscular frame just screams feminism. Exactly. <laughs> 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 oh, God fuck. Damn it. Still, you. <laughs> She didn't see me. Us uh, so is where you start now. Yeah. Wait, wait, <clears throat> she didn't. She didn't see me. Where? Where? Uh, it's right after the object of my focus. Object of my focus. Paragraph starts with "I launched myself." Oh. <laughs> uh. She didn't see me. No human eyes could. Still staring at the hulking shape that was about to grind her body into a, to the metal frame of her truck. No, no human eyes could have followed me, but Chad's did. <laughs> Chad. Chad sees all. <laughs> Chad's got all the powers, dude. I caught her around the waist, moving with much too urgency to be as gentle as she would need me to be. I accidentally snapped her spine in half. <laughs> It happens sometimes. In the hundredth of a second between the time that I yanked her slight form out of the path of death and the time that I crashed into the ground with her in my arms, I was vividly aware of her fragile, breakable body. Also, this is another thing that I feel like I should bring up, and that's the fact that, of course, she is someone who is ridiculously thin and frail. I mean, if she was actually <clears throat> sickly, this would be pretty cool, but, like, no. Like, if it was actually a whole thing, it's like there was something wrong with her. But no, it's just, oh, she's thin because thin people are attractive. Maybe. But what about the thickness? <laughs> Do these people see, not this understand? Is <laughs> this is before thick became a thing. <laughs> so it's such a, a backwards time just... period. <laughs> How uncivilized. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's not like, oh, she has like an average frame like the majority of people have. No, she's on the bottom end of the bell curve. Because, of course, she has to be someone who is overly traditionally attractive. Or traditionally attractive in ways that are, uh, that lead people to develop eating disorders. Ugh. Yeah, just no thanks for that. <laughs> slender arms. Why are arms so slender? I'm sorry, I don't go out with anyone unless they have some pipes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's my hey, turn baby, how much do you bench? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it my line? Uh, yeah. I caught? No. When no. I heard her crack against the ice, when I heard her, her head, head crack crack. against the ice, it felt like I, I had turned to ice, too. Wow. Dummy. 
Might be just because that's how cold it is right now. <laughs> We're yeah. in the middle of the polar vortex. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, but, I, uh, but I didn't even have the split second of a, uh, to ascertain her condition. I heard the van behind us grating and squealing as it twisted around the sturdy iron body of the girl's truck. Its course, uh, its cha- it was changing course, arcing, coming for her again, like she was the magnet pulling it toward us. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like <laughs> sucker. Boot. <laughs> 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 just in her sleep. Who? <laughs> just <laughs> sleep hooting. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's just like a really smooth too. Like she's actually fucking with him right now. I don't know why we're just coming up with this adorable owl person. <laughs> Because owls are adorable, that's why. Yes. As opposed to the personality vacuum that is Bella. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much! Uh, is it my liner? Yes. Really? A word. Really? It's yes. My yeah. yeah, really. Really. Totally. Really. Yeah. Not fucking with you. <laughs> a word I've never said before in the presence of a lady slid between my clenched teeth. Oh, fuck off. Poopy. Fuck off. Yep. I had already done too much. I was, I, as I'd nearly flown through the air to push her out of the way, I'd been fully aware of the mistake I was making. Knowing that it was a mistake did not stop me, but it was not, uh, but I was not oblivious to the risk I was taking. Taking not just for myself, but for my entire family. Bit late for that, huh? I think that's where we're going to end it for today. After I say, exposure. Oh shit, that's how we're getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, but, yeah, this is Lydic. And I'm Mr. Um, I don't know. I still can't think of anything. <laughs> oh, god. Quick, think of something for me! <laughs> Mr. Poopy Butthole. God damn it! The Rick and Morty character. <laughs> But I've never. <laughs> you have to have a pretty high IQ to understand. <laughs> you have to understand Rick and Morty, huh? You have to have a pretty high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. I mean, the level of their jokes is just so deep that you wouldn't understand it. Yeah. Fuck off, That's... motherfuckers! It ain't Futurama. <laughs> uh. No oh, shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> we were supposed to end it, uh, Craig. Craig. Yeah, I said Craig. leaving instead of leaving.